Well, it's important not only to focus on your physical health this time of year, but also your emotional and mental health. In Ion Health, Latrice Curry explains how to cultivate and repair healthy relationships. It's often called the most wonderful time of the year, but the holidays can also be one of the most stressful times of the year for some who are dealing with broken or toxic relationships. The first step can be the hardest. And it may mean um, reaching out to someone with a nice note. It may mean a phone call. It may also mean that, you know, you put all your, your anger, frustration and resentment aside. And say, Goldstein says if you're able to take that first step, it becomes easier to find happiness. If you want real happiness, it's not a gimmick. We don't have to look outside of ourselves. We don't have to be looking uh, in places any, where everyone's looking. We just have to look within. And along with happiness comes a sense of peace. And how do we bring that about? Through kindness, through respect, through being considerate of others. And if we can just exercise something as basic and as simple as that at every moment, Put your ego aside and say, what do I need to bring peace into this situation? Some other tips for finding peace during the holidays include let go of your expectations. Don't be afraid to say no. Set boundaries in gift giving. Focus on self-care and be open about your feelings. Goldstein says turning to your faith is also very important when it comes to finding true happiness and peace. Because peace is what we need in this world. And we know this much more at any more than any way in a relationship, whether it's with our spouse, with our family, extended family, all of that, we can do some, we can use some, some kindness, some respect and consideration. Our thanks to Latrice Curry for that story.